The immutable ratio of a circumference of a circle to its diameter pi is and always has been 3.141926 on and on into infinity. However, in the winter of 1897, the Indiana State Legislature nearly changed this mathematical constant with a civil law. The ridiculous story starts with amateur mathematician Edward Goodwin, who in 1894 believed he had finally solved the age-old mathematical problem of squaring the circle, i.e. find a square with the same area as a given circle using straight edges and a compass. Intending to copyright his proof, Goodwin, a philanthropist, wanted to ensure that Indiana schools could use it for free in their textbooks. Somehow, he persuaded Indiana State Representative Taylor L. Record of Posey County to introduce a bill on January the 19th, 1897, that also stated, in pertinent part, a bill for an act introducing a new mathematical truth. It has been found that a circular area is to the square on a line equal to the quadrant of the circumference. The diameter employed as the linear unit according to the present rule in computing the circle's area is entirely wrong. The bill, written by Goodwin, goes on to, in the words of a well-respected mathematician of the time, Professor C. A. Waldo, give two different values for pi, neither of which is correct. At the outset, it gave 4 as the true value, while towards the end, it gave 3.2. After being introduced, it went to the House Committee on Canals, also sometimes called the Committee on Swamplands, which didn't know what to do with it, so they sent it to the Committee on Education on January the 19th, 1897. The proposed law, House Bill 246 from 1897, had the support of the State Superintendent of Public Instruction and was recommended by the Education Committee on February the 2nd, 1897. While pending in the full House, one member, a former teacher, stated, If we pass this bill which establishes a new and correct value for pi, the author offers to our state without cost the use of his discovery and its free publication in our school textbooks, while everyone else must pay him a royalty. Unusually, the bill was read three times on the House floor. In fact, they had to suspend a rule to read it the third time, but finally passed with a vote of 67 to 0 on February the 5th, 1897. Obviously, though, no one had really understood what it actually said. In the Indiana Senate, the bill was first sent to the Temperance Committee, which must have fallen off the wagon because on February the 10th, 1897, that committee recommended that it be passed. Sanity, though, it finally prevails when the bill got to the Senate floor on February the 12th, 1897, because it was immediately met with derision. Not because the senators could tell on their own it required a modification of pi to complete the proof, but just because it involved maths. On February the 12th, 1897, Senator Hubble summed up the sentiment of most, stating, The Senate might as well try to legislate water to run uphill as to establish a mathematical truth by law. Of course, the senators didn't really understand what the bill said either, and being a body known for its lack of propriety and propensity to tell jokes, skylark, and make noise, the Senate proceeded to ridicule the bill for another 30 minutes, such as with this exchange. Senator Drummond. It may be I am densely ignorant on this question of mathematics. Senator Ellison then stated, consent, consent. After the laughter died down, however, the bill was dropped. This was likely due in no small part to a remarkable coincidence that had occurred three weeks earlier. By happenstance, when the bill was being voted on in the House, the aforementioned professor, C. A. Waldo, had been at the legislature to shepherd through an appropriation bill for Indiana University and Purdue University. After the pie bill had passed the House, someone showed Professor Waldo a copy and asked if he would like to meet Goodwin. After looking over the document, Waldo declined, stating, he was acquainted with as many crazy people as he cared to know. Waldo then began working on the Senate, in his words, coaching them so they were fully apprised of the bill's absurdity when it arrived in that esteemed body. And now for some bonus facts. The mathematical volume of pizza is pizza. You see, if z is the radius of a pizza and a is the height, then pi by the radius squared by the height equals pi, pi, by z, by z, by a. And now for another bonus fact. The equal sign was invented in 1557 by Welsh mathematician Robert Record. Record was fed up with writing is equal to in his equations. He chose the two lines because, to quote, no things can be more equal. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. We put out brand new videos every day of the week. And if you're looking for something else to watch right now, check out some videos linked to on the screen. And as always, thank you for watching.